Hi everyone. In the last video, I promised to cover distribution, but I think I should show you a bit more about what the Half-Life is all about before we go to the distribution and clearance videos. Now, we have talked about the ADME of pharmacokinetics in the previous videos. ADME is represented by what we call the four primary and independent pharmacokinetic parameters, rate of absorption, bioavailability, volume of distribution, and clearance. Now, half-life is actually not one of those primary parameters. It is a derived parameter and dependent on volume of distribution divided by clearance. Half-life is defined as the time taken for concentrations to fall by half or 50%. Here in this graph, the half-life is 12 hours. And you can see that at the end of the first 12 hours, the concentrations have fallen by 50%. After that, following each 12 hours, the concentrations fall by 25%, 12.5%, 6.25% and 3.125% respectively, so that at the end of the five half-lives, concentrations are only about 3.125% of the original concentration. So, approximately 97% of the administered dose is lost by the end of five half-lives. Now we can conveniently round it up to say complete drug elimination requires five half-lives. In a multi-dose regimen, the accumulation occurs in a mirror image fashion to elimination, and we conveniently say that steady state drug concentrations are achieved after five half-lives. This is a mathematical reality and is independent of how long the half-lives, dose and dosing intervals actually are. Steady state concentrations are achieved at five half-lives period. Note, however, that for this drug that has a half-life of 12 hours, being dosed at 12 hourly dose intervals, the fluctuations between maximum and minimum is about twofold. Similarly, the concentrations at steady state compared to the first dose is also about twofold. This is accumulation. Now, we will look at these effects again in a later video. So just keep this in mind for the time being. Observe how, as the dosing interval shortens to 6 hours, the time to reach steady state remains unchanged. However, the fluctuations reduce and the accumulation increases. Conversely, when you increase the dosing interval to 24 hours, while the time to reach steady state remains unchanged, the fluctuations increase and the accumulation decreases. The steady state concentrations all this while remains exactly the same. Now that is all for now. I hope this has helped you have an understanding of what Half-Life is all about. In the next video, we will look at the process of distribution. Until then, bye.